<laughs> that scared the shit out of me. We've all seen the TV shows and we've all watched the movies. Fire! But how many of us can really start a fire without matches? We've done the research and we want to apply it to real life situations. So we decided to head to the woods. Let's try to be a little creative. We're not talking about matches and we're not talking about lighters. Have I ever started a campfire before? No. I've started a fire, but like not on purpose. I have been to a campfire, but never started one. I just showed up and ate all of the s'mores. I'm a New Yorker. I feel like I know how to make lemonade out of the stuff you put in front of me. You thirsty? So I've got these cotton balls. Mini Ziploc bag. I've got paper. So this is steel wool. A little battery over here. Petroleum jelly. The magnifying glass. <laughs> Flame hot Cheetos. I don't even know what that is, so I'm gonna put that down. Okay, I'm gonna need steel wool, some chips. While it says flaming hot, they must be able to produce some sort of fire, and a battery. I'm gonna choose this, this, because this just creates friction and shit. I'm gonna choose some cotton balls, because I feel like cotton just evens it out. I'm gonna take the steel wool and this. I think we're ready, let's do this. I know many of you are wondering, who even carries these items when they're in the woods? Just go with it. Don't try this at home. That's how this disclaimer goes. Don't try this at home. We're gonna start a campfire. It's about to get lit, literally. Here's my plan right now. I'm gonna open these up, taste test them real quick. I started a fire in my mouth, that's for sure. I'm gonna try and spark this and then set this on fire. Nope, that's not working. There's something I can do here. There's like, oh, there you go, look at that. Whoa, whoa. Oh, did anybody see that? I'm gonna build my little thing right here. That already kind of looks like a fire. I'm gonna give it a little rub. Wow, look at, oh, I see a little smoke. The goal is to start a fire, not sparks. All right, why isn't it doing anything? It's just kind of sizzling. These Cheetos, they call it flaming hot. They, you can't even catch fire. <gasps> Yo! It's not like starting any strong fire. I failed, come on, no. I've tried the battery rubbing this thing. I've tried this thing rubbing the Cheetos. I've tried the Cheetos rubbing this thing. I'm out of things to rub. What else am I supposed to rub? Oh shit. You can like wrap this up. Come on, cut. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's working. <gasps> Catch on fire, baby. Catch on fire, baby. Slam, play on, what you, boy. That's how you start a campfire, sweethearts. So you just light that and then it goes. Science is nuts. Uh, this is, that's pretty cool. This just looks wrong. I don't know, cotton balls inside a Ziploc bag, greased down with Vaseline. Just sounds like a really weird sex fantasy. You can use petroleum jelly to start a fire. I just put that stuff on my lips. If you got chips and you need to start a fire, it'll work. How do you use the steel wool? I did the same exact thing. I used the battery, I rubbed the thing. This joint actually starts a fire, that's pretty cool. I think all of these items should be in a survival kit. If something doesn't work or like you break something, then you know, you have these methods. Next time you go camping, you better bring me. How the hell else are you gonna eat? You're not gonna survive if you just go off movies. I knew that I could take the cotton balls and start some stuff with that. I just took the flaming Hot Cheetos to be funny.